Honda, renowned for its innovation and reliability, is now making headlines with its bold move into the flying car industry. Imagine this. You're stuck in gridlock traffic, frustrated and dreaming of a solution. Now picture this. Your car smoothly lifts off the ground and takes to the skies, bypassing the congestion below. Sounds like science fiction, right? But the concept of flying cars is quickly transitioning from fantasy to reality, with companies worldwide racing to deliver on the promise of personal air travel. Recently, flying cars have captured global attention with bold announcements and flashy prototypes. But are they truly ready for takeoff? Can the average person expect to hop into one anytime soon? Stick around as we dive into the current state of flying cars, explore the leading innovations, and uncover the challenges still grounding this revolutionary idea. Under the visionary leadership of CEO Toshihiro Maibe, Honda is leveraging its deep expertise in automotive and aerospace engineering to revolutionize how we travel. Their flying car concept represents a perfect fusion of advanced technology, sustainable energy solutions, and groundbreaking design. So, what sets Honda apart in this race to the skies? Unlike competitors solely focused on electric-powered flying cars, Honda is breaking barriers by introducing a hybrid flying car system. This unique setup combines electric propulsion with a small gas turbine engine, addressing two critical challenges in the industry, range and reliability. While most flying cars have a range of just 60 to 80 miles per charge, Honda's hybrid design can achieve distances of up to 250 miles, making it a true game changer in urban and regional mobility. Honda's history in aviation plays a pivotal role in this innovation. As the only automotive company with Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, certifications for both aircraft bodies and engines, Honda's credentials are unmatched. Their acclaimed Honda Jet, a light business jet known for its efficiency and performance, has provided them with invaluable experience in crafting flying machines. Now, this expertise is being funneled into their flying car project. But Honda isn't just about power and range. They are equally committed to safety. Their flying car features eight small rotors for vertical takeoff and landing, as well as two larger rotors for cruising in the air. This design ensures redundancy. If one rotor fails, others seamlessly take over, providing a safer journey for passengers. Honda is also incorporating lessons from their Formula One hybrid engines to create a power system that is both reliable and efficient. Inside, Honda's flying car boasts a sleek, futuristic cabin with spacious windows for panoramic views. It can accommodate up to five people, a pilot, and four passengers, making it perfect for family trips, quick getaways, or simply impressing your friends. Honda's ambitions extend beyond just creating a flying car. They see this as the first step toward a future where flying cars are a part of everyday life. By focusing on hybrid power systems, eco-friendly designs, and user-friendly controls, Honda aims to make flying cars as practical as the vehicles we drive today. And while their initial target market may be high-end customers, their ultimate goal is to make flying accessible to everyone. What makes flying cars so special? Let's get straight to it. What sets flying cars apart from traditional transportation? The answer lies in their versatility. These vehicles are designed to navigate both roads and skies, offering unprecedented flexibility. Imagine driving your car to an open field, flipping a switch, and taking off. No traffic lights, no congestion, just pure freedom. Take the XP Ang X2, for example. This EVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing, vehicle, is built to bypass urban congestion, making it ideal for short trips within cities. With zero emissions and fully electric propulsion, it's also eco-friendly, aligning with the global push for greener transportation. But Xpeng isn't alone. Companies like Joby Aviation, Lilium, Vertical Aerospace, are also developing their own EVTO LS, each boasting unique designs and features. Whether it's longer range, greater speed, or advanced automation, 
the competition is driving rapid innovation in the flying car space. Challenges. Why aren't we all flying yet? As exciting as flying cars sound, several hurdles remain before they become mainstream. Let's break down the biggest challenges. Safety concerns. Flying cars operate in three dimensions, making safety far more complex than traditional road vehicles. While many designs feature backup systems like multiple rotors or hybrid engines, manufacturers must ensure these vehicles are as safe as, or safer than, planes and cars. Regulations and airspace management. Who controls the skies? That's a question governments and aviation authorities must answer. Existing air traffic systems are designed for planes, not thousands of flying cars zipping through urban areas. Developing new regulations and traffic management systems is a critical step forward. Infrastructure needs. Where will flying cars take off and land? Urban areas will need vertiports, charging stations, and dedicated air corridors. Building this infrastructure will require massive investment and planning, especially in densely populated cities. Affordability. Here's the kicker. Flying cars don't come cheap. Prototypes like Xpong's X2 or Joby Aviation's aircraft are priced in the hundreds of thousands, making them accessible only to the ultra-wealthy. For flying cars to become a common sight, costs will need to drop significantly. Are flying cars really the future? Flying cars have long been a symbol of futuristic progress, and the innovations we're seeing today suggest they could soon be a reality. Major cities like Dubai and Los Angeles are already planning for air taxi services, and experts predict that flying cars could be commercially available within the next decade. However, their success depends on solving the challenges we discussed earlier. Safety, affordability, and infrastructure will determine whether flying cars remain a luxury for the few or evolve into a practical option for the masses. The ripple effect, what this means for you. Even if you're not flying to work next year, the rise of flying cars will have ripple effects throughout the transportation industry. For starters, the push for flying cars is driving advancements in electric propulsion, battery technology, and automation, innovations that will benefit traditional cars as well. Additionally, air taxis could reshape urban mobility. Imagine booking a flying car through an app like Uber, cutting a 90-minute commute down to just 15 minutes. This convenience could redefine how we live and work, making distant suburbs or rural areas more accessible. The future is up in the air. Flying cars are more than just a technological marvel. They represent a shift in how we think about travel. They promise freedom from traffic, faster commutes, and a cleaner environment. But the road to widespread adoption is long and filled with challenges. So what's next? Companies like Xping, Honda, and Joby Aviation are paving the way. But the real breakthroughs will come when governments, urban planners, and consumers join the conversation. Together, we can create a future where flying cars are not just a luxury, but a standard mode of transportation. Ready for takeoff? Flying cars are no longer just a dream. They're a possibility within our lifetime. While they're not quite ready for your driveway, the innovations we're seeing today are laying the groundwork for a sky-high revolution. So, what do you think? Are flying cars the answer to our transportation woes? Or are they just another flashy concept? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the groundbreaking technologies shaping our world. Your next trip might just take you to the skies.